number one and six are connected to clock, C number two and seven are switches, and C number three and eight are connected to clock. Now let us draw the transition table. The transition table we take two states, that is the present state and the next state. The present state is zero zero zero, the next state will be zero zero one. And it is one, the next state will be two. So two is three and so on. Here we consider it only till one side. Hence we only consider zero zero zero, zero zero one, zero one zero. Now let us draw the K map. Okay, see. The values goes don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, one, and remaining don't care. Hence we get the octet form. So the value of KC becomes one, which is high. Drawing the K map for JB, the values are zero, one, don't care, don't care, zero and remaining don't care. Thus we get a quad form. So the value of JB becomes QA. We draw the K map for KB. The values are don't care, don't care, 1, 0 and the remaining don't care. Thus we get a quad form. The value of KB becomes QA. Now drawing the K map for JA, the conditions are 1, don't care, 1, don't care, 0, and don't care. Thus, we get a quad form. So the value of JA becomes QC bar. Drawing the K map for KA, the values are don't care, 1, 1, don't care, and the remaining don't cares. Thus, we get an octet form. So, the value of k becomes 1, which is high. Now, we have got the values of jc, kc, jb, kb, and jak. Let us draw the circuit diagram. After doing the connections as shown above, we get the outputs at QA, QB and QC. That is QA pin is connected to pin number 15, QB to pin number 11, 
and QC to pin number 15 of the second IC. For this up counter, we use two 7476 IC and one 7408 IC. Now let us do the basic connections. That is, we connect pin number 7 to ground and 14 to VCC. Pin number 5 of 7476 is to be connected to VCC. and pin number 13 to be grounded. For clear, we, we shot pin number 3 and 8 of the first IC and connect it to the pin number 3 dash that is the pin number 3 of the second 7476 IC and connect it to clear which should always be high. Next for the pre preset we connect pin number 2 and 7 that is we short pin number 2 and 7. Connect it to pin number 2 of the second IC and connect it to the preset which whose values should be high. For the clock, we connect, pin, we connect pin number 1 and 6 of the first IC, connect it to pin number 1 of the second IC, which is then connected back to clock. Now we have take, we are constructing the synchronous up counter for mod 5. As we have seen the JAKA, JBKB and JC, KC values from the from the Q match, now we are connecting it as follows. For JA, we are connecting 4 to 14 dash. That is pin number 4 of the first IC to pin number 14 of the second. For KA, we are connecting 16 to high. For JB, we are connecting pin number 9 and 15 and for J and for KB, we are connecting pin number 12 and 15. For JC, we are connecting pin number 1 of AND gate to 15. number 2 to 11 and the output from the AND gate that is from 3 is from the 4th of the second IC. For KC we connect 16 of the second IC to high. Now let us connect the outputs, that is pin number 15 for QA, pin number 11 for, Q, for QB, pin number 15 for QC. Now let us see the output for mod 5 synchronous up counter. At the beginning we have 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1 which is 1, then 0, 1, 0 which is 2, then 0, 1, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0 which is 4 and then we get back 0, 0, 0 for 5.